Hello and welcome friends. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a perfect tostada. You guys hear me complain a lot about my experience with burnt tostadas, but today I'm going to show you two different ways that you can make a perfect tostada. And if you're interested in the lobster I was talking to you about, I'm also going to be preparing a lobster tostada to pair our, um, our crispy delicious tostada. I said tostada like 90 times, so let's get started. <laughs> Before we begin frying, I want to share my method on how I fry things in general, okay? I currently fry with canola oil. I filled it a little bit less than halfway, and I take a wooden spoon or a wooden chopstick, as long as it doesn't have like any plastic or any coating on it, you're going to dip it in your oil. The thing about frying your tostadas is that the oil progressively gets hotter because it's just very thin tortilla so you want to be careful with that right now I have heated my oil on a medium high for about six minutes and now I have it on a medium low heat now the tortillas that I'm gonna be using are the Guerrero I really love the Guerrero brand for tostadas because your tortilla doesn't fall apart and they're nice and thin and they're dry if you use las banderitas you get to you'll notice that they're a little bit fresher or actually they're really fresh so it makes it a little bit difficult to keep that good crisp on them they work but I really like the Guerrero brand for this now if you're using a store-bought thicker tortilla um, you're gonna be frying for a little bit longer but these are for the Guerrero brand or um, maybe even the mission will work this way um, but they're pretty pretty thin for this so go for a thin one and our favorite is from homemade or Cardenas but since we don't have either one we're gonna go with Guerrero. This is this <laughs> is my next favorite brand. And yes. I, I like the flavor, I like the taste of it and the texture when you buy a light tostada. It's not thick or difficult to bite into. You'll see at the end, but it's a really light and crisp, kind of like those um those thin chips you get with salsa and uh and wok. Okay, I now love you it. Got me. Yeah, something like that. So try these. Now that we've gone over the basics, we're gonna start by adding three tortillas, okay? We're gonna do synchronized swimming for tortillas and drop them outward so that way nothing splashes on you. You're gonna count about 10 to 13 seconds before we flip them. And I like to press them down just at the center so we can get that little part to start cooking, okay? Have and these you been having tostadas every day almost, I think, right? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Okay, and then turn them over lightly. Again, you're going to count 10 to 30, 13. 13 seconds. <laughs> 13. 13 segundos. Okay. 13 seconds. And just press them periodically down the center. I find that these are great too for, um, someone had asked about recipes for kids on the spectrum. Mm -hmm. And this is a really good one because of the crunch factor, right? You can just put about everything you want on there mm -hmm. and it'll work out. I think getting a cast iron that just handles your frying is great. We were able to save this cast iron, which I was really having a difficult time with, just by frying and frying with it. And I got a really good coating from frying with it. so. Even if you don't know how to coat your uh, cast iron, I think that that's a great way to start uh, to fry with it. And then that way, whenever, you know, six months go by, you have a really good cast iron. We cured this one with bacon fat and uh, had it sit outside for a little bit. Yeah. Well, that was the initial part. Yeah. I know you guys have been asking me for a cast iron video. I will get to it. But as you guys know, I have a lot of things going on in my life right now. Still very happy, joyful cooking. Doing what I do. <laughs> Apparently I'm cool mom today, watch out. <laughs> so I'm gonna continue to do this to the tortilla until it's fried. It usually takes me about four to five minutes this way, but it guarantees me a perfect uh, tostada. And I'll show you guys before I take it out about the color that I look for. Now, if you're using uh, yellow corn, it's gonna be a little bit different. This is white corn and it, it'll turn from uh, golden to burnt in like seconds, so. Bear with me, friends. You'll notice that when the moisture uh, kind of dissipates from your tortilla, you get less bubbles. Oh, and you're getting closer. Oh, yeah. You're getting closer to that crispy 
tostada that you like. Now, if you guys are getting distracted with the kids, you tell them that they're going to get a burnt tostada. Because <laughs> I have my little ones over here biting my ankles sometimes, and they're like, Mama, what are we, what's for dinner? They get really excited over food, and I've been known to burn a few. And I do have family members that like those. We so. give those to my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my niece and my, and my mother enjoy those. But you know the young kids, they want everything perfect. So this is a way to show them how to make them. We eat with our eyes. Mm-hmm. Now me grow old school, I eat with my stomach. <laughs> well, I like to eat good food. Yes. Yeah. You see, we're starting to get that golden color. So we're getting closer to, to the tostada being ready. No te dice más caliente y lenta. No, mija. Yo soy experto en tostadas. Eh? Sí. Claude <laughs> wants me to put the pan on hotter. Okay, Claude. It's just it's not frying because it's all the moisture's out, girl. So you, what you're saying is that you need a little bit of patience. Sí. Okay. But the thing is that you can make tostadas every day of the week and make your life easier. Make your chicken over the weekend, especially Cloud's chicken dip with this. You guys know how that goes. It's addictive. Mm -hmm. So my tostadas are pretty much set. Do you see that golden color? We do. So now what I do is I put them together, pick them up like so. Allow that oil to drip. And then I start lining them up right here, just like that. Sometimes I use a rack, but for these tostadas, I tend to line them up that way. And then I start salting them. Because I like the extra salt that sticks to them, like a like a corn chip, you know? Yes, So now let me show you a faster way to do it. Ready? Sounds good. Now the other way you can do it, it's going to take you a little bit of time, but I'll show you another method, and I'll kind of fast forward so you guys can see. Place your tortilla in there, and then I press it down. Cause this is more just straight up deep fried, right? Right. And it's one little guy getting all the oil's attention. Mm -hmm. You're such a mommy, said little guy. See that? I'm a mother of a 20 year old and a soon to be 17 year old. I'm very proud of both of my babies. And they're wonderful kids. You're a good mama. Thank you. I see you good mommies in the comments. Love well, you guys. fortunate to have a lot of good parents that yeah, you are guys, on this channel. Yeah, you guys are so sweet. Whenever I get the baby pictures, I'm just, I don't know, I get baby fever here and there, and you guys feel that for me. Las cositas, cositas. And you guys help us fulfill our goal of uh, creating memories in the kitchen and spending time with our, with our family and our loved ones. Yeah. Thank you guys for putting in that effort. It's not easy. Yeah, I, I'm actually in really great spirits, guys. I know you guys might not think so, but I am. <laughs> How could you not be? You've got me right by your side, That's girl. That's right, girl. <laughs> We're having a good time. We've been through it all together, so it just makes everything just like, oh, it's just another thing I have to overcome today. Yep. You know? So this is more of a deep fry, and it'll take you longer. Like, for example, if you have one tostada right here, you can go ahead and start bringing another one in. Let me show you. If that's a method that you're going to go with, right? But I like to get three done at a time. I have a, a big family. Mira, se me trozo esa. Okay, going to survive in my stomach. See, and that one's already ready to come out. So those are the ways that I make a perfect tostada. And for those of you that are interested for the bonus, let's go and make some lobster <laughs> so that we can top our tostada with a nice fresh lobster salad. Mm -mm -mm. I have a pound of fresh lobster. Not to worry if you have imitation crab meat, you can make this with imitation crab meat equally as delicious. Now I'm just gonna chop it up a little bit finer. Porque. It's chunky. Who wants to chug that? I mean, if there's some lemon juice, I'm down. <laughs> right, you can put that in a clamato. Get ready, yeah. Save it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna chop this delicious lobster 
into smaller pieces, okay? It's pre-cooked, nice and ready. Cloud, would you like a tasting? I got in trouble last time for getting a piece of cucumber. Why did you get in trouble last time? You did, mommy. You were like, I'm not ready. What do you, oh, because I was in the middle of chopping? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you were looking out for my fingers, being a good sister. <laughs> <laughs> I must have taken that, edited it out. Sorry, guys. I'll keep that in next time for you guys. I know how much you love the cheese me. Or do they? They do love the cheese me. Even people that say they don't love the mm -hmm. cheese me, like me, we love it. I mean, what can we say? The biggest cheese me right now is certain certain individuals <laughs> some people getting upset over our multilingual skills and that's not going to change you're going to hear different languages in in the videos sprinkled throughout you're going to hear spanish english Cloud korean one. italian yoeme is there maybe a portuguese word here in i there? think I, I think i know a, a, a filipino word tagalog tagalog yeah sorry about that my ignorance came through on that one <laughs> It's, so if you guys speak another language, be proud of it and drop us a hello and a nice little comment in your native language. Yes. What is it in, in Tagalog? It's Kinshana. Kinshana? That's in Korean. No. Oh my gosh. Oh, Sigana. <laughs> Sigana. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. But yeah, whoa. I had, a, I had a, um, a Filipino friend named Roderick. He was so funny, girl. And your Filipina friends, they're not going to be happy yes. with the way that you're representing Tagalog. Amigas, right? perdón, I love you guys. But you know, our Filipino friends are the sweetest and the funniest and the, and I don't know, beautiful. amazing, just beautiful. You know how I feel about my Filipino friends. Yes. You know, that's the one uh, food that I won't make because I enjoy my friends making it better. Mm -hmm. Or my ex-neighbor. Oh, I miss her. Sonia, if you ever watch my videos, I miss your lumpias. Sweet lady. Yeah. Look at all this delicious lobster meat, you guys. All right. Now I'm going to set this to the side because we're going to mix our other ingredients, okay? Sounds good. We're going to add our mayo. And for those that are watching their diet, go light on mayo, okay? Very, very light. You don't need a lot. Just enough to fool you. You know how that goes. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> I need to hear this. Just enough to fool you. So if I'm gonna use a cup and you have like your portion, maybe two tablespoons would be good for you. Oh, okay. So just like when you do when you were younger and you played your with your tea sets and you pretend to eat, kind of like that. Pretty much the same. You got this. <laughs> or as our mother would say, slices of air. Rebanadas de aire. <laughs> I'll tell you guys about that at the end. We're gonna add your lemon and zest. Well, your lemon juice and the zest. Okay vinegar celery seed and if you don't have celery seed it's okay it's not a deal breaker it just if you have it okay but if you like these cold seafood salads you definitely should get celery seed and if you don't use it often then uh, you can put it in your refrigerator or your freezer to keep for years and years I think mm -hmm. I might be exaggerating but you guys get what I'm saying preserve it Mix your ingredients, okay? Then you're gonna add your sugar. Again, the sugar is optional because the fresh lobster is really sweet, but I think it balances out the dressing that we have going on here. Okay, so you were saying that I was flexing with my nice organic shrimp from Whole Foods yesterday, but what about you and your lobster for me? <laughs> hey, you know, sometimes it's okay. It's okay to treat yourself. And you guys know right now I need to treat myself. <laughs> she didn't buy herself any flowers or a spa certificate. She said, I'm getting some lobster for Maine. I mean, that is a huge, like, it's like tax season type of dish, right? <laughs> Add your salt and pepper to taste. Your suggestions are always in the description box right next to the title. You guys can see that there is a little arrow pointing down and that's the one you wanna click to expand the recipe. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> oh, I'm being sweet mommy today. Mm -hmm. Mix those ingredients well. Now we're gonna add our next ingredient, which is onions. I have a good selection of white onion, and you can use yellow or white onion. We have purple onion and green onion. And if you have scallions and you were able to get fancy with it, Definitely, you know, pay the extra dollars for that. 
celery. I know that's a lot of celery for some of you, but there's, the lobster ends up being a little bit less, so I just need to put a little extra celery to make it, you know, go go longer. <laughs> so you're not that bougie. <laughs> I'm not that bougie, guys. You have to get a filler. <laughs> I have to add a little filler. So you guys can take it as, what I'm trying to say is that you guys can take it as light or as heavy as you want with the celery, okay? And this is optional, and I've been addicted to jalapenos lately. I don't know, you guys converted me from serrano lover to jalapeno lover, and you can choose either jalapenos or serrano, but in this case, definitely go with jalapenos. Our güerito from Arkansas convinced us to switch. Yeah. Gracias, amigo. Now let's go ahead and mix all these ingredients. You use a lot of celery. Do you, what is it beneficial for? I noticed that because you use it in your juicing and in, in your dishes, like your when you're on your weight loss journey. Well, Claude, I'm going to recommend something for you. And you might not like what I have to say, but you guys should definitely Google it. No! <laughs> you should Google it. It's kind of like Google it. Apparently my accent came out. But you guys, it's kind of like a cucumber. It's detoxifying for your system. I'm sure it has its, its values, but I'm not a fan of the juice, but I am a fan of eating it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you're a fan of making antlongs? Excuse you? No. <laughs> what do I use? I don't use that much celery. For the cold salads, I, I guess that's it. Yeah, for cold salads, I do like it. For seafood salads. Okay. And I do like celery and carrot juice. Sorry. <laughs> you know what? Our carrot uh, celery uh, apple agua fresca is divine. If you guys haven't tried it, you definitely should. It's very light, it's nutritious, and I'm going to link it in the description box for you. Yeah. Whoa, double time, thank mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to add our lobster. I can't believe it. everything fit in that bowl, friends. I did it. Woo. <laughs> Why are you acting like that's all you, girl? I told you, you are not mixing in this little bowl for our friend. She wanted to put the salad in this. No, she really <laughs> thought I was going to mix in this bowl. And I said, no, Cloud, I'm going to mix in our Pyrex glass bowl. You guys should get one of these for the summer. If you don't have one, it's definitely great. You can put your marinades in here. Put a lot of things. They come with fancy lids too. I like that. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's get one. I don't think mine has a lid. Um, it did when we first got oh, it. Well, I, <laughs> I didn't pay attention apparently, guys. So just fold that in. And if you don't like celery, you can also chop up some like iceberg lettuce, switch it up for yourselves. This seems like really gourmet to me. I don't know. I'm feeling fancy today. Thank you for making me feel fancy, guys. It's going to cheer me up. Apparently. We keep good company for these <laughs> clubs. All right. Now, before I try this tostada, I'm going to show you guys how I put my tostadas away, okay? Where do we pick up from? Because we're doing a lot of shenanigans. Um, we're going to get to business and show our friends how to pack these tostadas. Okay. Ready? You guys yeah. got to look down here. We're ready. You're going to stack them up. Just like this. And these are Kroger uh, bread bags. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me, let me pull nice. it out so you guys can see. My mom really loves these uh, bags and they're gallon storage bags. And they come with little ties at the top, which I can't find right now, but I do recycle them when it's for tostadas, but I don't know where my recycle bag is, but this is the one we use. Got it. So you can stack them up, stack them up. Okay. So it's almost like your loaf of bread, right? When you have it sliced in the bag and except this is for your tostadas. Yeah. And they're not going to stay perfect, but ahí están las tostadas. Very nice. Okay. And make sure the kids don't get a hold of this bag because they'll crush it in two seconds. I want to get a tostada, mom. No, <laughs> you're going to crush them all. Your hands are not uh, functional yet, kids. Get some help. Unless you just got it like that. I don't know. These kids amaze me sometimes. I'll place a paper towel to absorb any kind of moisture or any kind of oil. Cualquier cosita, any little thing. Okay? And then you can just keep stacking it up until there's no more space. Sounds good to me. But at this point, I'm, I'm going to crack them. Okay? You tie it up. 
nicely and gently. And you guys are ready to go. Get your salsa in that big mason jar, make your ceviche, go visit your suegra, your best friends when the quarantine's over, and you guys are set, okay? Now, let's make one for ourselves. Place your perfect tostada. And I'm gonna slice my avocado here. You are? Yes. Why am I missing it? Because I'm I... focused on the tosta? <laughs> Girl, come on, get with it, Cloud. <laughs> ya le dio hambre, she's hungry. Son de aceitito, mm -hmm. They have a lot of that good stuff going on. And now that I have that sliced, you guys know what's coming, right? I feel it. Here comes a boom. <laughs> boom done. <laughs> Story of my life looking for cucharas, right? Yeah. And the best part of this is that you can eat as much as you want because this won't stay long in the refrigerator. I mean, we did put like little vinegar and lemon juice, but you want to make sure you eat this. Se lo comen bien. I'm going to be using my favorite salsa, guacamaya. It has a little bit of a sweeter, creamy taste to it, and it's going to go perfect on this tostada. But if you have something else that you prefer, go for it. Tapatio is a good one on this one, right? ¿El que quieres tú? No. Guacamaya. Guacamaya is my thing right now. And I still have some of the garlic uh, sauce that we have from yesterday's tacos and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on it. It's so, so good. Honestly, let me show you what tastes really good. Cause we did that all day yesterday. Yeah, I was being naughty. I just pour it on my tostada here and it's great for salsa and chips. You're not gonna regret it. As always, Views Club and Bell Notification Squad, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We completely adore you. I see you guys watching the commercials on here and it doesn't go unnoticed. I, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. It means the world to me. And on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios! Take the first bite. And this is my method for tostadas because I have recently become a fan of tostadas out of my whole life it was a thing that i didn't like as much but now i think i have a method okay because i used to get embarrassed to get sloppy in front of anybody but yeah all that's in the past right welcome so, to the bright side <laughs> yeah so kind of like this you know oh, and if okay. it drops so it drops sense. Sense. ready are you squatting or are you just oh you're well, just, just over? a little a little cutesy <laughs> you know and then okay. you go well if you're sitting at the table it's different but we should have like how in New York you guys can stand up for pizza. We're gonna be doing that with tostadas nice over one. here on the West Coast. It's an oh yeah. You outdid yourself, little lady. But no, I don't have a napkin right now. But. I would like to say it's me, but it really is the main lobster. Did it right. The main lobster from Maine. Uh-huh. The main squeeze. Oh yeah. I don't even know how you're still holding the camera. Don't you want one? Um aside from the one I had. <laughs> I know we've been on a tostada <laughs> kick lately. I might go back to just doing mukbang tostadas. I'm here for it. <laughs> you see how quick it's gone? I'm already almost done. Que grosería. One more for good measure. Yup.